And new tonight, Jefferson Street Sound Museum will get $80,000 after a vote by Metro Council. At one time, Jefferson Street had dozens of music and entertainment venues where many music icons performed. As News 2's Kenley Hargett shows us, this museum helps Music City preserve history and inspire future generations of musicians. Yeah. <laughs> Lorenzo Washington and Karen Coffey's dream of preserving Jefferson Street's legacy hasn't wavered and only grown through the years. Washington serves as a curator and Coffey is the vice president of the Jefferson Street Sound Museum. It was the Black Raw Street, it was the original music row, it was here on the Chitlin Circuit, so any A-list entertainer internationally that people know, they cut their teeth here. Tina Turner, Nat King Cole, Jimi Hendrix, and so many other legends played in nightclubs that once called Jefferson Street home. The Jefferson Street Sound Museum helps keep that history alive and exposes music to future generations. Now this is uh, going to be one of our new programs, and we're going to offer this uh, one Saturday out of the month for the summer. It's color plus Kool-Aid plus cool kids equals fun. So that will allow children in the immediate community and the community at large to come into the museum. Keeping this museum open is dependent on hard work and money. During May's council meeting, council approved a resolution that gives the museum $80,000 from federal funding passed during the pandemic. We have been funding uh, this museum out of our pockets up until now, and we're finally getting some help of especially for operations. Drawing people to experience the museum, learn about the music industry, and using the space for community events is a goal that both Washington and Coffee continue to put their hearts in. Reporting in Nashville, Kenley Hargett, News 2.